So this is the third video about study with native speaker. Um. Okay. Hi, Bob. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How are you? I'm good. That's good. How was how was your day today? Was it good? Yeah. Was, was it good? Like, like another. Like it's just another day. Like just August. another day. Just another day. Did you do anything? Did you? It was a Saturday, though. Did you do anything? Did you do anything fun or interesting today? No. No. Did you just stay home? Did you just stay home today? Yes. Okay. So just say I just say I just stayed at home. I just stayed at home. I just stayed at home. More time. I just stayed at home. I just stayed at home. Yeah, you didn't. I didn't do anything interesting. I just stayed at home. That's fair. All right. So let's see. So last time, do you remember what we did? You know, what what's that? What's that? My toy. I made one. Oh, you made that? Yes. From my. You lesson. program it. My lesson. From my lesson in a school yesterday. Nice. Does it move? Or is it is it just stationary? Yeah, it can move. Yeah. Ah, it's pretty cool. I made with That's pretty cool. And yeah, you made a good friend. Yeah, when I so so typically the next step with that is to like make it move like by itself or like pro like a uh, remote control, right? Or push. Push yeah, you can put like a motor you can put like a motor on it. You probably attach a motor to it and you can like make it like a remote control type of thing. No. No, you can't. <laughs> When I was when I was your age with those things, yeah, with those when we built those things, we would the next step we would do is we attach like a yeah, we would attach like a attach like a something something rem a, a remote control thing on top of it, and then um, it would so we so we would be able to like press buttons and like move it back just back basic motions just back and fo forward and backwards. Um, that's basically make it move forward and backwards. Those are always fun. Alright, so last time, do, do you remember what we talked about last time? Um, we talked about um, reptiles. Remember last time? No, we talked about dolphins, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so we talked about dolphins. And so basically, I wanted, wanted to see what are some similarities do you remember so what are some similarities between dolphins and sharks um the shark cat has um, has teeth and only, yeah and there's they a only only live in in the ocean but dolphin yeah there's a shark has mm -hmm. a dolphin uh, in river and and in ocean. And in, in oceans and rivers, they can live. They, yeah, they can live. They live all over, all over in water, right? Do do dolphin? Do 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 sharks? Do sharks breathe air, or or, or do they have gills? Mm. Shark Actually, that's a good question. Do sharks have gills? Gills. Or lungs? I think sharks have lungs. Gills. Yep. Yeah. And sharks have gills, right? Yeah. So, do sharks need to jump to the surface to breathe? No. No, but dolphins do, right? Why? Because do dolphins have lungs or gills? Do dolphins have lungs or gills? 
lungs. Yeah, dolphins have lungs. So if dolphins have lungs, sharks have what? Do sharks have lungs or gills? The sharks have gills. Three. Yeah, gills. Yeah, they breathe with gills. Yeah, so they, they still they still need air, right? So they don't have lungs, meaning so they don't breathe like oxygen through the air, but they still need oxygen, right? So they get the ox they they absorb the oxygen uh, through the water, right? So they're able to absorb oxygen through the water. That's how that's how most sharks are able to that's how sharks are able to get get to get the oxygen the oxygen they need to survive. Yep. Alright. Alright, so let's compare. Do you remember so let's compare, so we have, yeah, as you mentioned, dolphins can live in the river or the ocean. So which one has, which one has a long snout, a river dolphin or a, or a ocean dolphin? Um, maybe ocean dolphins. No, nope, let's, let's compare, right? River. river. Yeah, river dolphin. So let's try to make a sentence. So let's compare, let's compare their snout sizes. Can you compare their snout, snout sizes again? Um, snout, fin snout. The river dolphins have fin snout, while the, the ocean dolphins have short snout. That's a short snout, yeah. So the river dolphin has a. So the river dolphins have. Yeah, so you yeah, so either plural both or you do plural neither. So you don't plural one or the other. So you either say river dolphins and snouts. Ocean dolphins and snouts, or you say river dolphin snout, ocean dolphin snout. So you so you either pluralize it or you don't. So you would say so you yeah you can you can say it, you want you can say it like this you can say river dolphins. River. Have, have long, thin, snouts. While, while ocean, while ocean dolphins have short snouts. See how we pluralize both? So go ahead and read this. River dolphins have long thin snouts, while ocean dolphins have short snouts. Yeah. So see how we pluralize both of them? Now we can do that or we can pluralize none of them. So we can say ocean dolphins have short, ha so, oh, so a river, a, ri a, a, a river dolphin. So if we say that's a river dolphin has a long, thin snout while an ocean dolphin has a short snout. Has a short snout, yep. yep. And read this. A river dolphin has a long thin snout, while an ocean dolphin has a short snout. Yeah. So see how because 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 we can pluralize it. It's not like it's not it's not it's not a skill or anything. So therefore, we either pluralize both or we don't pluralize either. All right. Good job, bud. So let's move on. So I think this is where we ended it, right? So let's go move on to that then. So super dolphins. Super, so super sniper. Super a uh, super spinner, super spinner, yeah, super. I don't know why I said sniper. Spinner super spinner. Through the air like a squirrel rolling football. It can jump almost ten feet into the air and spin up to seven times. Easy yeah, so ten feet. feet, ten feet. So let's see, feet, two meters. So ten feet is about three meters. It's pretty high. All right, easy breather. Easy breather. A dolphin hmm. spends most of its life holding his breath. A rooster dolphin can go for thirty minutes without coming out for air. Yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty wild. I can probably go maybe about a minute, <laughs> a little less than a minute. 
without 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 needing without without like struggling and needing to come up. Uh, so deepest he, dive. He was deepest diver. Where the no the dolphins are closely related. In fact, some animals we call whale really are dolphins. Mm -hmm. A dolphin pilot whale is a dolphin that can live almost two thousand feet feet. And dives and dives and dive. Can dive. Can dive. Two thousand feet. That's a long way. Yes, yeah, so remember. Yes, remember we talked about that last week. Orcas. When I think of a whale, I think of an orca, right? That's like that's like the thing I think about when I hear a whale. When I hear a whale, I hear I think orca, right? But they are dolphins. They're types of dolphins, right? Yeah, see? The most amazing dolphin of all is Orca. Also known as a killer whale. The Orca wins almost every record setting award in the dolphin category. So let's see, fastest. Fastest. A killer whale can swim seven times faster than an Olympic swimmer. Hungers. An Orca eats everything from see turtles and penguin to seals and sharks longest mm -hmm. living living a killer whale can live up to 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 90 years 90 years is a long time males can go almost as long as a school boss mm -hmm. hungriest hungriest in order to eat everything from sea turtles in penguin to seals and sharks. Yes, the seals and sharks. So it eats pretty much everything. So remember we talked about so remember when we talked about um remember when we talked about like under oh, we didn't talk about that. Uh yeah, remember when we talked about like uh the under under the uh the, the sea creatures, right? We talked about some of them like they make a distraction, they, they make like bright colors or they'll they'll slime the shark, right? Or the predator, right? And it, like so like if there so there's a big fish, like a like a shark or an eel trying to eat like the plants, remember? Right? And what do they do? They uh they make a they make a distraction, right? They 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 they, they make light, right? Uh, yes. What's the light do? The light attracts the light attracts the fish. Bigger fish, right? So light attracts something bigger to eat that predator. So basically, <laughs> so, so basically, orcas like or, it's the things like orcas because orcas eat pretty much anything, right? So yeah, so the light the light shines, right? Or the noise is made and that kind of signals to like orcas or other or other big predators. Hey. <laughs> Hey, there's a big fish here. You might want to come over here. I want to see that. So let's see. Or I want to see that. Orca? Orca? I want to see an orca eat a shark. Want to see an orca eat a shark? Now I'm intrigued. Are you intrigued? I'm intrigued. Orca eats. I don't see. I want to see. I'm pulling it up. Orca eats a shark. Orca eating a shark. Oh, wow. All right, so let's pull it up. Is that audio? Let's see. When it comes to ruling the sea, bigger isn't always better. Surprisingly, some of the largest ocean creatures aren't dangerous at all. The blue whale is the largest animal on the planet, weighing as much as 33 elephants, and all it eats is krill. It's like eating a one centimeter piece of pizza. And the whale shark, despite its menacing name and 40 foot length. I don't know, an orca ate Pinocchio, right? 
No, not blue whale. A blue whale ate Pinocchio, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Pinocchio? That was a blue whale. But it was an accident, right? The blue whale, all the blue whale does is open its mouth. And it just absorbs everything in it. So it's not really dangerous. It's not going to come and hunt you. But if you're in its path, be careful only eats plankton and small fish. So, what does it really take to be at the top of the ocean's food chain? Specialized hunting skills, a ferocious appetite, and few, if any, natural predators. Oh, and sharp teeth don't hurt either. We'll watch the whole thing. <laughs> when you think of the top ocean predators, you probably think of sharks. That's wrong. The true ruler of the sea is the killer whale. Surprisingly, they're not whales, they're dolphins. It's hard to believe that a cute animal like a dolphin is ruling the ocean, right? Anyway, we're going to explain this in the next minutes of the video. Killer whales are apex predators, which means they have no natural predators. Look at that big fish. It's like carrying that big fish like it's, like it's a toy. <laughs> I saw. I saw a video on YouTube. It's um, the story about orcas kill kills the uh, the shark and like they hunt in packs, much like. I see that one. All right, this one's yeah. This one's a bit long. Let's see, orca. Here you go, orca versus shark. In the NBA playoffs, anything can happen. One minute you're feeling great about a bet, then you hear that voice from you. Off Chatham Bay, Costa Rica, a pod of killer whales dramatically hunt and take down a tiger shark. Possibly the first time this has been caught on camera. That's it. So do orcas, do orcas hunt alone? Yes, orcas. They hunt, well they can hunt alone, right? But are these, are these hunting alone? Awesome predators. See, look, they're in groups, right? But as their boat was heading back to the shore after the last dive of the day, they spot the whales again, and they're in pursuit of the tiger shark. Run, shark! Run! Working together, the orca swim repeatedly around and below the shark. Yeah, see, look, they, they yeah, see, they trap it. That's so where we talked about what the, what the whale, what the, what, what the other whales do. So the other dolphins do the fish, right? So they kind of, they, they trap the school of fish in like this, this circle, right? And then the, and then the other dolphins come in and just snack, keep snacking on them, right? Right. Yeah, so this is like this, but with one big, with one big fish. So they're basically doing that same that same that same strategy, right? But they're doing it with a shark instead of instead of instead of like all these other instead of all these small fish. Into the surface. The shark swims towards the boat for shelter, narrowly missing the camera before attacking the vessel's side. As the divers look on from the safety of the boat, the killer whales close in. Oh no. Here we go, ready? Here it is. And as the camera submerges, the shark can be seen in the whale's mouth as they bite its fins off. Oh right. As well as being an incredible experience for those on the boat, this may well be the first time killer whales hunting a tiger shark has been filmed. That's insane. It's pretty cool. Alright. You said they're the hungriest? Alright. 
goofing off. Goofing off. Dolphins spend a lot of time hunting for food, and they are always on the lookout for dangers. But sometimes dolphins don't want, just want to have fun. Dolphins make up, make up all kinds of games. Playing catch, toss seaweed into the air and try to catch it. Mm -hmm. Surfing, ride a long storm or wave. Or waves storm breaking. Wave or wave breaking near the beach. Tag. Near near beach. Tag. Your chase each other through the water. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They're able to like. See dolphins and humans. Dolphins and humans. Dolphins are gentle, playful behaviors. They're also very smart, which is why people and dolphins get along so well. By learning about these friendly marine mammals, humans are helping to protect dolphins and the water they live in. Let's go over it again. So, yeah, Have calf. What is a calf? A young dolphin. Equator. 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 An imaginary line to hop halfway between the north and south poles. Mammals are warm blood animal that drinks its mother's milk. Mm -hmm. No. The backbone and the air and hair. And hair. So there's a. Does a does a mammal necessarily give birth? No. No, right? No, because there's there's a one mammal that doesn't give birth. Do you remember what it is? Uh, that's lay egg, a kind of mammal. Yeah, yeah, the, the the platypus, right? Platypus lays eggs. Yep. So I say the platypus. Say platypus. To say the platypus, say the platypus lays eggs. Platypus lay lay eggs. Legs egg. To say the platypus lay. A platypus? Must be a platypus. Platypus. Well, they can hunt great white sharks too. Yeah, you said that in a sec. You want to watch that real quick? Watch that too. Orcas. Say orcas hunt great white sharks. Hold on, let's see. <laughs> Which one? Uh, under. This one, you watch this one? Yes. Alright. Nothing out of the ordinary. It was a normal Monday morning. We had the cage down and we'd seen three or four sharks. Standing on the back of the boat and Kim spotted a pot of orcas. Someone comes running in and says there's an orca outside, there's orcas outside. I've been to sea for over 20 years and I've never seen anything like that. What's that in the middle of, um, of, of the orcas? It's a different shaped fin. Hang on a second, something, something's a bit odd here. They must, they must have a shark. <laughs> Shark cage diving, and we had the cage down. And it's actually a show they were having. Four sharks. Um, yeah, yeah. So there was action happening, and then in the distance we could see these orcas. Uh, you know, in the distance. So everyone was kind of watching them from the cage. Yeah. So what they do? Yeah. So they uh, in Australia. In Australia, you can pay money and you dive. Okay. You pay money and you dive. You get put in that little cage, right? And then you you're, you're able to like basically swim with sharks. So. You pay money, and they send you down and with diving equipment, and you get put in this, these little cages, and you can kind of just take videos and photos of of the sharks basically swimming around you. I have a friend who did that. It was pretty cool. In the distance, so everyone was kind of watching them from the cage, and you could hear them as clear as day. They weren't passing through. They weren't passing through the Neptunes. They were, they were in the same place, and they were hunting together. 
everyone's uh, on, on, the, on the deck were just looking and what's that in the middle of, um, of, of the orcas? It's a different shaped fin. They were staying in the same place, uh, they weren't really moving around much. And then that's when we thought, hang on a second, something, something's a bit odd here, they must, they must have a shark. Um, and they stuck about for over an hour or so. But their movements were very, very particular. Um, they were herding something. They were staying within the same space. And then obviously we saw a pointed dorsal fin. That's the shark about to be attacked. Yeah, see, look, they're hunting the shark. So like we said, they said before what they're doing, they're doing the other one. They're circling around them, right? And they're trying to, uh, they're trying to trap them in. So they're each, they're each like cornering, cornering him. They're cornering, yeah, cornering him in, yeah, they're cornering. They, yeah, each one's trying to attack the other one, attack, trying to attack the other one, right? One moment where the shark was swimming away at, at quite a quite a fast pace, um, but then that's when the um, the two younger orcas decided to help their mother. Now we see, do we, do, do we get it here? Which uh, you know, a, a really dominant and powerful creature, and these orcas were just they were just totally unfazed. It was just like um, the shark was like. Do we see? Do we get it here? Do we get it here? Game set match. It is the ultimate kind of battle of the apex predator versus the apex predator. People have spent weeks, months, and years on no, the ocean get it. Right, to get this sort of shot. And that's the great thing about working in the ocean is that... We get it here. Then we get it here, too. Let's get it here. I should see I it. wanted to say something to Ken. I want to see it under the water. Ingrid Visser and Kinescal... Just like the South African orca. See here? Here's a great way. Seven gill sharks grow to nine feet long and 200 pounds. A much larger meal for an orca than a small ray. But the seven gill shark is no easy prey. Seven gills are relatively new on the orca menu, but I've seen it a few times now. For shark liver, it's clear. Oh, wow. Look at that. There I am. Look at that, look at that cut. He dead. <laughs> he gone. All right, bud. So we read about shark. We read about whales. We read about sharks. All right, we can jump into it now. We got about twenty minutes to go. Let's say. Let's see. You know what? Hold on. We did dolphins. We, so we did dolphins, right? We've done dolphins. We do ugly animals, I guess. Mm. Did you do the weather yet? No. Mm. Talk about the weather. Uh, yeah, let's do the weather. Talk about storms. Storms are cool. Weather. Weather by Kristen Baird Routine. That might be super easy, though. Hold on. Where's the water? Big out or your window out the sky? Is it sunny or cloudy? Rainy or windy? You're checking the water. Water is what it's like outside at one place. At one time. But keep a lookout. Water can fast. Can change fast. Can, yeah, weather can change fast. The sun warms the land is warm the air and water too the sun's heat and light that help things grow plants and animals eat sunshine to live actually you know what yeah yeah the sunny days sunny days are fun you can play outside. Will you go to the park? 
or ride a bike, the sun can make the air stay hot. It can cool off with a swim. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Do you like do you like this time of year, or does it get like too, or, or, or does it still get too hot? Yeah. Well, because right now it's like what in the in the thing? Is there is it in the was it in the thirties today or just in the twenties? Was it in the twenties or thirties? Twenties. The twenties. Twenties. Yeah. Twenties. In the twenties. How about tomorrow? Is it going to be in the is it going to be in the thirties or twenties tomorrow? Party. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? You guys said it's going to be 20 degrees? Yeah, the 20s, right? Alright. How about if I went to Ho Chi Minh and it was in the... So right now, if I go to Ho Chi Minh right now, tomorrow in Ho Chi Minh, it's going to be, in, it's going to be like 33 degrees. Do you think that's... Is that nice or is that, or, or is that too hot? That's too hot. Very, 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 very hot. hot. Yeah. Is it always? It, is it hot? It is. Is it always hot in Ho Chi Minh? Yes. Yeah. So is it? Is it too hot in a? In, 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 if I lived in Ho, Chi, so yeah. So if if you lived in a Ho Chi Minh, would you would you like it, or would you think it? Or, or would you think it was too hot? Too hot. Yeah. Um. Uh, my my school is in. Uh, in Ho Chi Minh. Oh, your school is in Ho Chi Minh. I study at school in the Ho Chi Minh city. Yeah, do you like it? Do you like it? Uh, a little bit like, but the weather I don't like. It's too hot. It's wet and it's hot. It gets wet. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot and it's humid, right? Yes. Yeah. Are you ever in Ho Chi Minh? Are you ever in Ho Chi Minh in the summer? Yes. Yeah. Do you think it's too hot in the summer? Uh, very hot. Yeah. So, where do you think it's better weather? Does Ho Chi Minh have good we better weather, or does Hanoi have be have better weather? Hanoi. Yeah. Why does Hanoi have be Why does Hanoi have better we weather? Better weather. Better weather. I can't even say it. Why does Hanoi have better wet better <laughs> It's like a tongue twister, try saying that. Better weather. Better weather. Better. Why does Hanoi have why well, yeah, see that's a tongue twister, right? Why does Hanoi have better weather? There we go, I said it. Mm, that's what I got. I my family and I know never been to Hanoi. Hanoi. Yeah, it gets cooler in Hanoi. So let's see, you wanna compare it? So right now. This is the forecast for Ho Chi Minh. So right now, this is the forecast for Ho Chi Minh. I'll show you. So right now, this is the forecast for Ho Chi Minh. This is Fahrenheit. Let me change it to Celsius. So right now, it's 26, and it's raining, right? And yeah, like you said, it rains all the time, right? So tomorrow, 30s and raining. Hot, low in the 20s. Monday, 30s and raining. Tuesday, 30s and partly cloudy Wednesday rain Thursday rain Friday clouds Saturday cloud Sat Sat Saturday rain right so let's go to Hanoi Hanoi it's green right 20s 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 19 20 but then look four straight days of oh sunny 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 so nice all right Right, so the weather. Tiny just, weather. Just, just, yeah, mm -hmm. float in the air. They group together. They make clouds of all shapes and size. White fluffy clouds mean good weather. Yeah, white fluffy clouds mean good weather. So, what's in the clouds? Mm, 
fluffy cow. Yeah, there it's water, right? Water. Water made from Yeah, so the water the water evaporates from the land, right? Right. And it goes up into the clouds and then when the weather gets or when when it gets grouped together or it gets it gets too much, right? Too much water, then it starts to rain. The rain the rain falls over it like mixes uh, with the heat. Maybe maybe they um, like they borrow the water and they and they return. Yeah. Event yeah. Yep, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. So eventually, right? Yeah, so it's like a cycle, right? So it starts, it starts, it starts in the in the rivers, right? And it evaporates, and becomes the clouds, and the clouds become too heavy, right? And then the water falls back down, back down to earth, right? And it, right, yeah, with rain, right? Right. Yeah, because like flat gray, flat, flat gray, gray, gray rain. Yeah, so when it's flat gray clouds, it means rain and dark. Dark clouds, like dark, very dark, maybe like black, almost black clouds. I mean, it's like a lot of rain. It's going to rain like a lot. So some clouds are... The clouds are thin and woodsy. They can look mm -hmm. like her of air. Here. These clouds float high in the sky. Yeah. So do you ever like to like just look at clouds and like try to call out the shapes of the clouds? Yes. Sometimes I... It's like a See a cloud, make a chicken cloud, a cloud chicken. It looks like a chicken. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes like clouds, sometimes they don't look like a chicken. Like a, um, um, see a human. Sometimes see animals. Yeah, that's like a fun activity. That's like a common thing. It's like just lay down in the grass and you just look up. Or maybe like on a car ride. Like, a, like a, if you're like traveling and stuff, that's typically what you do too. Sometimes that's one of the things you can do too. Is just look up on the car and try to call out what the clouds look like. It's always kind of cool. So, drip drop. drop. Drip drop. Now comes the rain. Water drop it in clouds sometimes fall as rain. Rain fall in the warm and cool weather. Rain have plants and animals live and fills ri fills river and ponds. Rain forms puddles on cycle. Splash. Splash. Did you like the rain? Nope. Or no? No. Nope. No. Why? Why don't you like the rain? Um. To, I cannot. Sometimes I hate it. Sometimes I love it. Yeah. Sometimes you hate it. Why do you hate it sometimes? You say that? Why do you hate it sometimes? Um, I hate it because they are not let me to play outside. Okay. Yeah, because you can't go outside, right? And why do you love it if it gets too, if it gets too what? Sometimes you need rain because it can, it can get too water. Yeah, it can get too hot, right? Yes. Yeah, so sometimes like if it's like especially in, like the summer, right? It's like maybe like July or August. Sometimes you're like, oh, I wish it would rain. Because like it gets really really hot, and it's like oh, it starts to get dry and ridiculous. So like you're like, oh, I wish it would just wish it would rain. It's gonna rain today gonna be nice here it's gonna rain today for a little bit potentially right so hold on I think it's gonna rain all right um. it's gonna rain tonight I think looks like so I trip all right I did drip job down to the main so let's do burr uh, it's cold outside water some Water drop and cause sometimes feet. They can fall as hail or snow. Mm -hmm. If it's hail, you can see ice. If it's snow, you can see her. Flurry. If it's if often, it, you might yeah, you might get a flurry. Flurry often. Flurry. Often not. Often a lot of snow means 
a snow day. Yeah, I've done a lot of snow means a snow day. Say yay, snow day. Yeah, dude. Well, yeah, you don't get snow, right? It's always nice, right? Do you get snow? Yes, uh, in Vietnam only supplies are snow. Yeah, sometimes there's snow. Yeah. Only in Do you like this? On the sun. All places in Vietnam have snow. snow. Yeah, like in the map, like in the. Does it snow where you live, or only like in the mountains? It's only in supper. In the suburbs, like uh, like high up. Where does it say? Where is it snow? Let's look at up snow. Snow in Vietnam. Oh yeah, in Hanoi. Does it snow in Vietnam? Let's see, does it snow in Vietnam? Yes. In the mountainous regions, right? Like in the mountains in the north, right? Uh, right. Yes, yeah, so like in the mountains, right? The, like, like, like this area. Mm, yeah. They get so high up, it can get cold and snow. Yeah. Yeah. So typically, yeah. So you used to used to be guaranteed, like if it snowed, used to be guaranteed to have a day off of school if you got a lot of snow. Now that typically doesn't happen. Now you just uh, you have virtual school. <laughs> you don't really. There's no really snow days anymore. It's now. It's just like oh, stay home and log into class online. You have a you have a you have a you have a virtual day. Lightning. All right. So lightning. Lightning and thunder. Lightning is a super hot stream of electricity. 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 Mm-hmm. It light up the sky, flash, the zip on the cloud tower, on the ground. After lightning comes, oh, a boom, a sound is a thunder. The sound is a thunder. <laughs> it flash. Oh. <laughs> that's always, that's always, that can be scary. Seeing all the lightning. Thunder, thunder, thunders. The thun thunder's just a sound, right? But thunder thunder can be scary. Yeah. It'd be pretty interesting. It'd be pretty interesting. But it we really use for useful for to use an electron. Electric. Mm -hmm. Electric. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, like a, like lightning and stuff like that, right? Yeah, so like if, if it's lightning, if we hear thunder, you should probably like, you should probably like if you're swimming and you start hearing thunder, even if it's not raining, you should probably quickly get out of the pool, right? Right. Right. Why? Because when you hear thunder, what's close by? Yesterday, my dad said, um, "Where well, I live has has a person died because the thunder." Yeah, right. A oh, person he, he, died from the thunder. He died yesterday in the in the place I live. Oh wow, really? From the from lightning? Or from the yeah. from lightning? From lightning? From yeah, he got struck by. From thunder. He probably got struck. Probably got struck by lightning. From thunder. I don't think he could die from thunder. I think he just died from lightning. You can die from like a lightning storm. Die from thunder. On uh, death from can you die from probably like a thunder probably a thunderstorm. You die in a thunderstorm? Yeah, because we call it like, even though it's thunder and lightning, typically we just call it a thunderstorm. Right? Yeah. Or like a die in a thunderstorm, so like and then you can have because like, a lot thunder thunder typically comes with like really bad rain, right? So if it's a thunderstorm, it's probably like really heavy rain, right? So you're not dying from the thunder, but you're dying from you can die from you can struck by lightning and die. Or you can die in the flooding, or the very heavy rain, or um, a tree can fall on you, right? <laughs> um, all those things can happen, 
in what we call a thunderstorm. You understand? Yes. Yeah, so we call all those things thunderstorms. Um, so you're not dying in the thunder, you're dying in a thunderstorm. A thunderstorm is like all those, all those big, scary moments. And thunder. All right, so let's see. Yeah, but after, after the rainbow. big storm comes... Have you ever yeah, seen a rainbow after a storm? Rainbows are made from sunlight and water droplets. Rainbows paint right stripe of color of sky. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. What color do you like the best? Yeah, which color? What's your favorite color? When you see a rainbow, what's your favorite color to see? Red. Mine's green, huh? Red. Red? Yeah. I like the green. Green's pretty cool. If you see green in a rainbow, it's pretty. It's pretty neat to see. Six ways weather and wild. One sometimes. Number one. Sometimes, water's flow is usually dry. This is called flood. Yeah. So if it's yeah. So if water flows in like a dry area, like land, right? So water will overflow where it typically is, right? Yeah. And it will come to like, that happens a lot, probably where you live, right? Uh, um, yesterday, when I come, when I come, when I go home, I see this, like a picture yeah. one. Yeah, like that. That happens a lot sometimes. Uh, some areas where I live too, yeah. But it's less, but it's less more than, than picture, than this picture. Yeah. It's only... It's only two feet. Two feet? That's not too bad. Two feet's not that bad. But yeah, but it, but you can't really drive in it, right? So if it's an area like that, you gotta shut down the... Yeah, flooding can shut down the roads too, right? Uh, like small areas of the roads. Uh, yeah. So hail is... Say so hail is... Hail is ice that rains from sky. It can be small or it can be bigger than a baseball. Yeah, hail can be huge. So, like, if you're not careful, hail can, like, uh, crack your windshield or do some other stuff. It's really, really wild if it starts hailing. you got to be really careful in the hail. It's happening a lot. Yeah. Let's say a hurricane. Say a hurricane. It's going to be that hurricane, hurricane brings. brings Heavy rain and strong winds. Yeah, that's what we because a hurricane is what we call um, a typhoon, or yeah, so like, yeah, like a typhoon. So like um, a hurricane is our version of a typhoon. They're kind of the same thing. Um, basically, bring like small, big, small, slow moving storm that brings heavy rain and heavy wind. So let's say number four. Let's say number four. Very strong winds, or sometimes with they form a tornado. Yeah, so a tornado can touch down and build up the cyclone, right? And it can kind of, it can, like it can touch down and like make like all these, uh, like they can, you know, you know, destroy how destroy homes and all that stuff. It's pretty wild. Right, wow. So it's hard to see number five it's in hard a blizzard. To see in a it's hard to blizzard. see the blizzard. Text. Sometimes it doesn't rain for a long time. This is called drought. drought. A drought. drought. A drought. drought. Yeah, so sometimes even, like, yeah, so sometimes, like, the, the active, that's what I'm saying, like, in the summertime, when you get, like, a drought, it can get really, really hot and, like, and, and unbearable. So, 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 so that's a time where, like, you wish it would start the rain, right? You're like, wish it would just rain. <laughs> for, wish it would just get some rain. And, um, so everything would be okay there. All right, bud. So let's wrap it up because we only got like a minute or so left. So, yeah. So great job today, um, as always. And it looks like I will see you. Oops, not there. I will see you. Uh, next week. Next week. Next Saturday. Yep. So good job today, and I'll see you Saturday. Saturday. Yep, next Saturday. So great job today. I'll see you next week, alright? Bye. Okay, this video is on here. Bye, see you again.